He's going. Mm -hmm. I got street sweepers, right? He's going. Big bullets. They hate seekers, right? Do show me. I'm a peacekeeper, right? Yo, you ever had to wake up one morning, right? And take your motherfucking gun out the deep freezer? Bah! Nigga, me neither. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling it's me not tonight, but he probably is. Mm -hmm. I ain't really a star in the street. I ain't with all that Holly biz. Have I ever put a gun in a deep freezer? Hell no. The deep freezer's where the body is. Why would I? Oh! 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 this man, salute to the subscribers. That notification gang is a state of emergency. Don't act like you ain't heard of me. It's your boy, Bada Fly. Tell you my mind said hi. Shout out to my guy, Showtime SP, and everybody that watches this content, whether religiously or in passing. Great, 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 great day, you know what I'm saying? The weather's starting to break. It was raining a little bit earlier, but it is a Friday, so shout out to everybody out there. I hope y'all doing good. I wanted to drop in, you know what I'm saying? I know a lot of people is on their grind at work, making their moves and plays, and they like to listen to battle rap content, banter, sometimes jokes, and whatever the case may be, so I appreciate every single one of y'all. First of all, if you like this content, make sure you subscribe to the channel, stay in tune with the handle, you know what I'm saying? Um, that's the best way to be in tune with what we got going on. Shout out to my network partners over at Fox 5. We will be back on television very soon. Yes, sir! This nigga spitting! Damn, nigga. You know what I'm saying? The beginning of the year, making everything right. We got a very, 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 very special guest coming up. I'm not gonna, you know what I'm saying, let let nothing out, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna just let you cra 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 cra. It's gonna be lit. I'm telling you that much. You know what I'm saying? You know how we dealing this up to the ceiling. My boy Showtime SP will be in the building. We got some dope things going on. Shout out to everybody who hit me up. About the blog I did yesterday uh, about Charlie Clips or whatever the case may be, Miami, am I going, am I not? Now, you, you, if you see me, you see me. If you don't, you don't. If I played for it, someone paid for it. If not, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? That was just my personal opinion as far as I feel because he's one of my favorite artists. And, you know, the downfall has been very well noticed. Noticed, you know what I mean? And um, I want to talk about a battle that he actually has coming up before his battle with Easy the Black Captain. I had I had been hit tipped off to the fact that everybody's talking what they talking, but do y'all know that cabin fever? Shout out to Cleveland. My mom lives in Toledo. I don't know why Cleveland keep acting like I ain't close to them. But we I'm a it's go, we go, we go, we go. It's gravy, baby. I still got you up on my screen. You know what I'm saying? Whether y'all love me or you don't, I still got y'all up here. Cabin fever. Charlie Clips vs. Fonz, T-Top vs. Dice, Rosenberg Raw vs. Don Marino, Coffee vs. Flawless, Emerson Kennedy vs. Dylon, 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 and a bunch of other niggas on the card, you know what I'm saying? If I sit here and break down all these battles, I'd be here for a fucking week, you know what I'm saying? I ain't got that long to speak. So, uh, you know, Cabin Fever, shout out to them. Tickets is going down. It's going to be on a rap grid. It's going down April 20th in Cleveland. And the main event is Charlie Clips versus Fawn. So, I had to, you know, fuck y'all think we doing? What do you think we're doing? We're going to talk about this because if he don't get through this, what are we talking about the week or two after? You know what I'm saying? I ain't hating. I am not hating. You know what I'm saying? I'm not salty like a pretzel, nigga. You made your schedule. So, we want to talk about it. Cabin Fever. I put a, a, a tweet up yesterday just asking who the people think was going to win. I think the only person that said he was going to win, most of the comments that I seen was Verb. <laughs> Shout out to Verb and everything that he got going though. He got Swamp. I, I, throw, I talk about that towards the end too. Um, but yeah, you got a very important battle versus Fonz. Because trust and believe you me. If you've seen Fonz battle in Cleveland before, just watch him versus Calico if you need to know. Like, the... the <laughs> They trying to cut you off before you even make it to Miami. You might not even make it there. I'm gonna be honest with you. You might not. You might not make it because Fonz is not gonna be trying to lose at home. And he he's his battle. I'm gonna be honest with you. A lot of people is looking past it. If I'm who else is talking? Who else is talking about it? It's not enough noise going on. If it is, I can't hear it. You know, this is a very important battle going on. I'm gonna be watching this. You know, I pay for it, but if you ain't gonna send me pay per view, I take that too. You know what I'm saying? I got kids to feed. You know what I'm saying? Switch your speed. I got kids to feed. And I told you fools, I'm going back to school. So y'all niggas want to like make it happen, make it happen. I watch. I ain't, I ain't begging for it, but I take it. You know what I'm saying? I watch the cabin fever. Um, 
Another battle I'm interested on there is Rosenberg Raw versus Don Marino. Rosenberg Raw been podcasting, blogging, doing his media shit for like the last seven, eight months. He's been doing good. He got super streams. He had big artists on there. Hitman was on there. Rock was on there. Gerald McCoy. He be doing his thing, you know what I'm saying? But stepping back in battle rap. When you didn't battle rap, you get judged accordingly. You know what I'm saying? So you better still be nice. Take my advice. Don't let no spice off the rice just because you've been blogging. Because niggas ain't giving you no break. Um, him versus Don Marino. I seen Don Marino, you know what I'm saying? He got a bunch of battles coming up. He got Av. He got this one. If you got another one, you know what I'm saying? Forgive me. Um, but he, I, I seen him tweet me the other day because I said that for Rosenberg Raw, Don Marino was a side mission. I did feel that way. But, uh, you know, the best way to prove it is to do it. So I can see, you know, if Don Marino beats him or makes the battle competitive, he knows I talk about it. I talked about him versus Chess. Did I not talk about you versus Chess? Huh? The alien in the, in the attic, nigga. You remember? You remember? Come on, act like you remember. Um... So we're going to see what it is, you know what I'm saying? Mexican Bars versus Rosenberg Raw. Um, and there's a lot of other battlers, you know, some that I heard of, some I really haven't heard of, but I'm definitely going to be watching. Um, clips, I got Fonz 3-0. <laughs> so if you only, if you show me. And the reason why I got Fonz is because Fonz was booked to battle Clips like last year sometime. I, I, a year ago, two ago. You know, my memory, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it is what it is. But he was, he was booked to battle him. And that battle didn't happen. You know, URL, you would they used to do this, the back out, back out, make you back out boys and shit, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Hey, I call that call so I can't spoil it. I keep it up, I gotta be honest, my boy. They made the nigga back out the battle, that battle didn't happen. So to me, Fonz has been waiting on this joint for quite some time. But what I see with a lot of these battles going on and a lot of these different leagues, niggas is gonna be able to start moving a little bit more because if the money not there, you know, smacking all the niggas, you be like, the money ain't there. If the money ain't there, then you can't tell me I can't go get money over there. So you're gonna see a lot more of these lateral moves and shit like that. Shout out to the city of Chicago. I got my Devin Hester on today, you know what I'm saying? This is one of my favorite jerseys and shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I fuck with the uh, Devin Hester, one of the best return men ever, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with the city of Chicago too, so it, it definitely coincides with some of the shit that I be liking. And I, the reason why I like being on the East Coast, cause somewhere in LA, this shit stands for a gang. I don't fucking know what gang it is. Shout out to them. But everything you wear over there, <laughs> What fucking gang? I said, what the hell's going on here? I could never live there. I'd be I'd be lost in a day, nigga. I'd go to fucking Walmart and niggas would be like, yo, you with the clip dip, dip, dip. Nigga, I don't know these niggas, so yeah. I'm on East Coast. I'm on East Coast. So shout out to the Bears. I fuck with the Bears. Um so you got this car going down, Cabin Fever. Uh is a it's a pay-per-view going down all rap grid, you know what I'm saying? So this definitely counts. This is not a battle that does not count. And if you think Fonz is about to play around with anyone, he's he trying to fuck everyone's money up before that shit in my end. Are you crazy? He's not trying to. He's he he trying to make sure you don't get there. <laughs> Hit him with a game winner. You'll never make it to my end. You Dame Lillard, nigga. <laughs> you know how Fonz be punching? And yes, I'm going to talk my shit every day. I don't care. Because Battle Rap needs this. They need honesty. And they need people that's gonna call it like they call it. We cannot, we can't. <laughs> you, he got to be on defense from now on. You know what I'm saying? We've we made it acceptable, so we have to make it unacceptable. I'm I'm gonna be seeing this pay per view though, cause I have to see what happens. So, shout out to that. Um, second part of this joint. Shout out to QB Black Diamond and everything that she's got going on. I put that clip of A Ward and Bangs at the beginning of this joint because I definitely want to talk about that battle and highlight. An amazing battle on a brand new platform, you know what I'm saying? Black Diamond Battle League. Make sure y'all go over there and subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying? She's building a platform. She got her versus Rex. She got A Ward versus Bangs. And listen, I got a funny ass story. So if you still here, shout out to y'all, you know what I'm saying? You know, I know I try not to drag these blogs out, I make them hours long. I just want to get through everything I need to get through, you know what I'm saying? But um, if you have been around for quite some time, you know about Bangs, you know what I'm saying? Bangs is an MC to me. I feel like is one of the most talented but lazy MCs that I've ever encountered. I feel like he had the talent to be phenomenal, but the work ethic to get nowhere. You know what I mean? And and I mean, when I say the work ethic, it's like he'll be here, he'll disappear, and then he battles, he freestyles. Like he damn near freestyle the whole battle, but he's good like that. I'm gonna tell you the story about him in one second. Uh, and he's made, you know, a bunch of different friends in the industry. He's cool with Chris Brown and shit like that. I've seen Chris Brown post his stuff before. And Bangs is a talented MC. 
Baines just don't, he, he don't never really write three rounds. And I'm going to take it back. I was telling QB earlier because I was going to, um, I told I was going to talk about the battle because, yo, y'all need to. Notification game. Get to that channel. I'm going to post, I'm going to pin the, the, the fucking battle to the top. Butterfly sent me notification gang nigga. We are going over there and we're gonna support that battle man because it was a lot of it was a lot of dope bars in there. But let me tell you about Bangs right quick and I'll flip to A Ward, then we out of here, alright? So um I met Bangs at the PGs like 2016, 2017, right? It was 2016, 2016. And he had a battle versus Jerry West. This is back when like all of us first came in. Like it was like Mike P. Av, Jerry West, Emerson Kennedy. Uh, it was like all them, everybody. I was in that class. When all them niggas came in, that's around the same time I came in battle rap, right? So it was all of them, and it was all brand new, and Bangs was known. He had a buzz around the area for how nice he was. I, vivid, I will never forget this. <laughs> I asked him. He might not remember, but I do. I asked him, I said, you know, MCs, like, different artists was going around the corner. It was, like, Stewie Newton. And a lot of niggas was, like, rapping and, you know, spitting their bars and, you know, sparring with other people and shit. I had heard, like, two, three rounds by the time the event started. And I asked Bangs, I said, yo, man, what you got? You ready for the day? He was like, uh, you know, I ain't really write nothing, but we'll see what happens when I get inside. I said, what? <laughs> I said, well, hold on. <laughs> what you mean you ain't write nothing? That nigga didn't write nothing. And he went in there versus Jerry West, you know what I'm saying? He was rapping, he had a good performance, and he'd been, he's been around for quite some time, and Bangs, you know what I'm saying, is Bangs. So, um, shout out to him, you know what I'm saying? I got a lot of love, admiration, and respect for him, you know what I'm saying? But I would love to see him at a more consistent basis. So he battles A-Ward, and uh, I had heard about the battle a couple of times, but I hear about a lot of battles, you know what I'm saying? So I, I told uh, QB earlier when she had hit me up, I said, uh, I was like, yo, if you got something, yeah, holler at me now because uh, once I get busy, I hit the road, I'll be out and about, I won't hear from you for two weeks. So she, I called her because I wanted, because you know, she's starting a YouTube channel. I be, you know, she asked me different questions about certain shit, you know what I'm saying? Each one, teach one. That's my sister. I always help out if she need whatever, right? So we talking and she's telling me about the battle and how good it is. And I'm like, every league owner that I talk to tells me the battle is good. What are you talking about? So we, we rapping, you know what I'm saying? She's telling me what she got planned and things she's trying to do and shit. So I said, I'm going to watch it. You know what I'm saying? I had to watch it. It's A-Word is Banks. A-Word beat everybody. Like, A-Word rarely loses fucking battles unless it's white people. A-Word. Anyway, you, you white, you right. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But um, he's, he, I, so I wanted to see it. Man, when I tell you, I didn't get through the whole battle. I only got through the second round. I didn't want to go any further. Because A-Ward was kicking Bang's ass across the street. Like, this shit got so... <laughs> oh, shit. My mama got me a bottle for my birthday and shit. But, uh, shout out to her. But, yo, when I tell you it's empty now, but still, it's one of them flash joints. You got the joint right here, too. Bang's, I'm going to take a shot for you, because nigga. <laughs> yo. Oh, my goodness. I got bars. Fuck it, I got bars. So, in the first round... Uh, Bangs comes out and he's he's he he has some bars, but then he has a compare him to comp air him to compare him to, and then he says uh he says I'm Aaron too, and then he says because Aaron's name is A Ward, A Ward's name is Aaron, right? So he says my name is Bangs, my nickname's Bangs, that means I'm Aaron too. I thought it was five. Then he had, and the reason why I'm telling y'all some of these bars is because you got to understand how to shit the rebuttals, because they rebuttal crazy, like rebuttals is all over the place. So Bangs had a line where he said, I seen a nigga get shot to death one day walking from Revival. Keep that in your mind. Nigga get shot to death one way walking from Revival. It was a long ass story too. Like it was putting his story together. And then at the, the last line of that scheme, he says, you know, they left him outside. You know what I'm saying? He was lying down. They, he, he got shot. He was lying down outside. And the people kid was outside beside you, whatever the case may be. He said he was lying. But he still wasn't lying longer than the Bible. What? Oh my God, Bangs. That's the type of shit I've been looking for. Then he said, uh, if I happen to take your life, god damn it, I like that joint. Uh, this wig is Passion for Christ, about to turn this to the Passion of Christ. Thought that was dope too. Then he said, you seen the back on his wife? That makes you know he ain't never be the ass in his life. Bangs, why do you have just these joints that's good, but you can't give me three? I didn't get to the third, so hold on. I might, I might not have got to the third, but so what? Uh, A-Ward comes out, bro, A-Ward... 
A War's ability to freestyle. I didn't know he could freestyle a whole battle. I don't think he wrote none of this. But when I <laughs> when I tell you, he was clearing him so bad. He did a whole scheme because uh, Banks had a uh, had a scheme about the the Boston Celtics. You know what I'm saying? Because you know in Connecticut and the, the Boston with the boot. A Ward comes out and says he did a whole scheme about Parrish and Mikael. I forgot to mention the white boy Bird was the real shooter. Mad reaction. Um, then he says. Um, then he goes and says. Uh, then Banks had two hats on. What the fuck? What was that of the? <laughs> Yo, Bangs, what in the hell was that? I don't know what that was you had on, but my nigga, don't do that shit again, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? I got the Miami hat on, because, you know, if they want me there, the people want me there. Hey, Rem, hey, yo, I got it on, but I'm with the Bears today. Um, so, <laughs> he says, uh, so Bangs says, uh, you thought I would all cap if you burn something? Then he says, uh, I don't care if Bangs pop off in the street. He's in front of a firecracker. Oh my goodness, yo. Awar is destroying this man. He says, uh, he said, he said, I should be battling on against top busy. I should be getting rocked quickly. Instead, I'm giving Bangs a 16 like Josh Giddy. Oh, Nick. I, I thought it was fire. I was fire. I thought it was fire. But then in the back, back, back of my mind, like with my locks in, like back here somewhere, I thought that I didn't think the chick was 16. That's just me though. But I thought it was a dope line. What Bangs do? Bangs comes out with the rebuttal of that same shit. It was like Bangs heard what I said, but he rapped it already, but he still heard what I said. Bangs comes off and says, uh, it wasn't a 16, it was a 17, and this one went over the head. Fire rebuttal, nigga, that shit was crazy, right? But Bangs' greatest ability is also his biggest detriment. His ability to freestyle is par to none. Like, he got Charlie Clip standing up there, A-Ward standing up there, Chef Trez, uh, Danny Myers, uh, Sharon, and like a DNA. It's like 10 or 11 people that can really freestyle beyond means. And if I forgot anybody, please, you know what I'm saying? I, I just told y'all. So, he's up there with some of the greatest rebuttalers ever. Bang starts out, he starts freestyling, then it fell flat. Think about Bangs, when Bangs don't have a style that's punch heavy, so when if his freestyle ability falls flat, he could be, it'll be there. Then he'll hit it with another line, but then if he's freestyling, I've been watching Bangs for a while. So, um, so, and I wrote down a note, I said his inability to write at a top level takes away from his performance. That's what I said, his, ab his inability to continue to write requisite punch lines or fire material it takes away because then he'll go to his freestyle bag. He says, uh, I'm only here because QB paid me. I ain't really like that. Uh, he said, uh, then he's, ooh, bang, see what I'm saying? He have little flashes. It's flashes in the joint. You ever had to wake up and take your gun out the deep freezer? Bow, nigga, me neither. I thought it was fire because of some shit that, what is he talking about? But it hit. But unfortunately, and then he had a smack in the face, smack in the face line, you know what I'm saying? That always works. A Ward rebuttals again. Man. He rebuttals him again. And after he, he starts with the, we don't put no guns in the deep freezer, that's where the bodies hit. Somebody in the crowd yells, you ain't got to rap no more. You don't, he don't have to rap no more. They was trying to stop him one round and two bars in, trying to throw the white towel. And then he had another bar by this time you control the room. And it just started going downhill from there. And I was like, I, I, you know, when I be online and shit, when I be scrolling my timeline, I'll um I'll look at uh, <laughs> I'll look at like some video, I'll see a video, it'll be some gruesome violence and somebody getting stomped out or whatever game. I can't watch it twice. So this was going towards the gory part that I just didn't watch. So I'm gonna say A Ward got it 3-0 because the way it was trending was 3-0. There's no way in hell Bang is going to run around in that room. I can confidently say that. And he's from there. And A Ward isn't, but A Ward has an ability to go into different rooms that he's not from, ain't never been, and take over the room because his freestyle ability is so crazy. But make sure y'all peep that battle, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna continue to support what QB got going on. You never know. You may see me, you may see SP and CT. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shout out to all the subscribers, that notification gang. I want to get some work out there. It's a Friday, you know what I'm saying? Just want to give y'all something to peep. Uh, 
Verb and Swamp still going back and forth. Verb talking about Swamp eat raccoons and all this. I don't want to hear no battle about no coon, 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 raccoon, coon, June shit. I don't give a fuck about that shit. I'm telling you right now. Come up there with that shit. Um, but now, uh, I'm still kind of like Verb 2-1 because I've seen him in all of these small rooms. And he has a way. See, the thing about him is he has a way to promote. He's going to promote 2,000% more than the other person. So if the battle is close, he won. <laughs> Is <laughs> you want it? Cause he's gonna take it. He's gonna take it with the technicality. He's gonna take the win. There's nobody. That, there's nobody is able to outpromote him. Bloggers, nobody. He's gonna go the extra mile and do the things that nobody is willing to do. Like I can, I be seeing him act so active on social media. I'd be surprised. Like how the fuck does he do it? And I'm one of the ones. But he, that nigga, takes it to another level. So unless Swamp absolutely bodies him which is really tall and tough task to do in too many rounds, I mean, I mean what I mean. I mean, I just mean what I mean. He's going to find a way. He always find a way to make it debatable. But am I saying it's impossible? No, I'm not. I'm definitely not saying it's impossible. But just like seeing me there, it's not impossible. But we'll see what happens, man. Gang, 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 I don't bang it. You know the fuck going on. Keep your money low. Ah.